Today's Flash Briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. Good Thursday morning, March the 19th. I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. And here's what you need to know. More than 200 cases of the coronavirus have been confirmed in Colorado. In fact, the state health department is putting that at 216. Eight are in El Paso County, one in Pueblo County, but the majority of those cases are in Denver County where there are 43. 39 of them are in Eagle County and coronavirus testing will take place this morning at the Colorado State Fairgrounds in Pueblo. Right now, the Pueblo County Health Department only has 100 tests, so only the first 100 people will get to be tested. You do have to show up with a doctor's note and it all starts at 10 a.m. And the drive up testing site in the Springs is only open for a couple of hours this morning because of weather set to open at 9 a.m. and then close at 11. This one's usually open till 530 on weekdays. You do have to have a note from your doctor to get tested. Let's get to your forecast now with meteorologist Sam Schreier. We're forecasting wind, snow, rain, everything through the course of the morning. A lot of rain in Colorado Springs for a while, but eventually that is going to transition to snow. Monument Hill and Woodland Park, Teller County, are going to transition to snow quicker and it'll hold on the pavement quicker. I'd say by 10, that's probably something we're looking at. By noon, it's likely to start to get a lot windy over Monument Hill, and eventually that rain will kind of slide out, shrink out of Colorado Springs as the snow line goes south, but most of the snow is going to be north side of town, through the gap, and into Teller County. Let me show you on a map. So Colorado Springs, between like nothing on the south side towards downtown to three, four, five inches up on the north side of town. Seven to 11 inches Woodland Park, six to nine inches Monument. Now the snowfall again, I'd say like Briargate North is where it starts to really collect 11 to seven inches in Woodland Park with blizzard conditions, not only through the gap, but very likely out on the east side of town. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.